Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 24. In this video, we learn two definitions and one theorem. Let us see the first definition graph of a mapping. We define graph for the mapping. Let us take x and y be to any non empty sets. Let capital X comma Y be to non empty sets. Both are non empty sets. And F is a mapping from X into Y. F is a mapping from X into Y with domain X, with domain capital X, and range, range in Y. It means the range of this function is subset to Y. Obviously, it is subset to Y. Then, the graph of f the graph of this mapping f is defined as is defined as x cross y means cartesian product of x and y cartesian product of x and y which consists which consists of all ordered pairs, of all ordered pairs, which consists of all ordered pairs, of the form x comma f of x, x comma f of x. It means, it means, graph of f is equals to graph of f is equals to set of all set of all ordered pairs x comma f of x x comma f of x such that this x belongs to capital x and f of x belongs to capital y f of x belongs to capital y and this set is subset to or equivalent to either subset to or equivalent to the Cartesian product of X and Y. The Cartesian product of X and Y. This is known as the graph of the function. So, graph of F is equals to set of all ordered pairs. Set of all ordered pairs. X, X, F of X such that where X belongs to capital X and F of X belongs to capital Y such that this set is completely subset to the Cartesian product of F and Y. And the graph of f is denoted by the graph of f is denoted by fg is denoted by simple symbol f suffix small g the graph of g is denoted by fg right we go for a simple note point one of the important note point to remember right Suppose n and n dash b to normal linear spaces, capital N and n dash b normal linear spaces, n and n dash b normal linear spaces, then the Cartesian product n cross n dash, the Cartesian product n cross n dash is also a normal linear space is also a normal linear space with with coordinate wise with coordinate wise linear operations with coordinate wise linear operations remember that coordinate wise linear operations and the norm and the norm is defined by norm x comma y norm x comma y is equals to norm x plus norm y norm x plus norm y so norm x plus norm y so this with this with respect to this norm this cartesian product n cross n dash is also a normal linear spaces is also a normal linear spaces moreover this norm induces this norm moreover this norm induces 
द प्रोडक्ट टोपालजी दिस नॉर्म इंड्यूजेस दिस नॉर्म इंड्यूजेस द प्रोडक्ट टोपालजी द प्रोडक्ट टोपालजी आन द प्रोडक्ट टोपालजी आन एन क्रास एन द प्रोडक्ट टोपालजी आन एन क्रास एन डैश यस यस एन क्रास एन डैश एंड आल्सो फर्दर यू रिमेंबर वन पॉइंट हियर this n cross n dash is complete this n cross n dash is complete implies and implied by implies and implied by both n and n dash are complete n and n dash are complete important note point to remember and which is useful to prove some theorems in the next videos so right we go for next definition closed linear transformation closed linear transformation right let us take capital n and n dash b2 normed linear spaces b2 normed linear spaces and capital d is a subspace of n capital d is a subspace of capital n and capital t capital t that maps from capital t that maps from d into n is a linear transformation so here n and n dash b to normed linear spaces d is a subspace of n capital t is a linear transformation from d into n now this t is said to be closed this then then this t is said to be closed t is closed implies and implied by for each xn belongs to capital d and xn converges to x and t of xn t of xn converges to y implies implies t of xn converges to y implies x belongs to d and t of y t of x is equals to y x belongs to d and t of x is equals to y so the mapping or the linear transformation t is closed is said to be closed if it satisfies this condition for each sequence xn belongs to t which converges t of xn which converges to x so and t of xn converges to y implies as that x belongs to capital d as well as t of x is equals to y so according to Uh, linear transformation is said to be closed it is one of the condition for that so next we prove a theorem let us see the statement n and n dash b to normed linear spaces and d is a subspace of n then the linear transformation t that maps from d into n dash is said to be closed is said to be closed if and only if it satisfies the condition xn belongs to d and xn converges to x t of xn is converges to y implies x belongs to d and y is equals to t of x and y is equals to t of x i'm sorry uh, this is i read the statement wrongly let us check it t and t is said to be closed if and only if if and only if the graph of t is just a minute the graph of t is closed here the if and only if condition is different if and only if the graph of t is closed the graph of t is close it remember that the mapping t that maps d into n is closed if and only if the graph of t is closed the graph of t is closed so i rewrite the statement this is the correct statement please observe that so i repeat the statement n and n dash b normed linear spaces d is a subspace of n then a linear transformation t maps d into n dash is said to be closed if and only if it satisfies the condition 
the graph of t is closed the graph of t is closed let us prove the, our statement uh, i write the introduction capital n and n dash b to normed linear spaces to normed linear spaces and d is a subspace of n d is a subspace of capital n and capital t maps d into n dash is also is a linear transformation is a linear transformation we have to prove that we have to prove that capital t is closed capital t is closed implies and implied by implies and implied by its graph its graph tg its graph tg is closed its graph tg is closed our theorem is this one so uh, understand this n and n dash b to normal linear spaces d is a subspace of n and t maps d into n dash is a linear transformation our aim is to show that t is closed implies and implied by its graph tg is also closed set so let us con let us start we assume that closed t is closed suppose suppose the linear transformation capital t is closed we have to prove that we have to prove that tg is closed we have to prove that tg is closed that is tg contains tg contains all its limit points all its limit points it is very well known definition any set is said to be closed set if it consists all of its limit points all of its limit points so to prove this let us take a limit point let x comma y be any limit point let x comma y be any limit point of tg then by the definition of limit point there exists a sequence of points there exists a sequence of points in tg there exists a sequence of points in tg that is that points xn comma t of xn in tg xn comma t of xn where this xn belongs to t converging to converging to x comma y converging to x comma y you understand this point understand this point x comma y be any limit point of tg then there must be a sequence of points in tg that is xn comma t of xn where xn belongs to d converges to x comma y converges to x comma y so that is what it means what it means the sequence of points xn comma t of xn xn comma t of xn converges to x comma y converges to x comma y which implies norm norm xn comma t of xn norm xn comma t of xn minus norm xn comma t of xn minus x comma y converges to zero tends to zero or converges to zero which implies as norm xn minus x norm xn minus x comma t of xn minus t of y t of xn minus t of y converges to zero so which implies as which implies as norm xn minus x converges to zero norm t of xn minus t of y converges to zero both are converges to zero because t is closed because t is closed this condition implies as xn converges to x and t of xn converges to t of xn converges to y oh there is a small correction here this is not t of y this is y only this is y only remember that remember that this is y only t of xn converges to y so right t of xn converges to y so this means this means by the definition of closedness of a d closedness of t we get this x belongs to capital d this x belongs to capital d and 
t of x is equals to y this happens from t is closed t is closed already we learn here by the definition of closed by the definition of closed linear transformation so right what happens now x belongs to d and d of x is equals to y this condition implies as the ordered pair x comma y belongs to the graph tg belongs to the graph tg so this condition implies as every limit point every limit every limit point of tg every limit point of tg every limit point of tg lies in tg lies in tg entirely lies in tg this shows us the graph tg is closed the graph tg is closed graph that's it this is the first part so we assume that t is closed we prove that tg is closed the converse let us take the opposite parts assume that suppose suppose the graph of t the graph of t is closed that is the graph tg is closed tg is closed we have to prove that capital t is closed we have to prove that capital t is closed so right to show that t is closed let us take an a, a sequence of points xn belongs to capital d comma xn converges to x and t of xn tends to y t of xn comes to y it is very easy to see that the point i'm sorry this is very easy to see that it is easy to see that the point the point x comma y is an adherent point is an adherent point adherent means limit point is an adherent point of tg so that the point x comma y belongs to tg because tg is closed because tg is closed since tg is closed by definition of tg by the definition of closedness by the definition of tg where we have x belongs to t and y is equals to t of x and y is equals to t of x because tg is closed there must be a sequence converging to satisfying all those conditions x belongs to d and y is equals to t of x what is this this condition implies as that is this condition what is this condition where xn belongs to d and xn converges to x and t of xn converges to y then we have x belongs to d and y is equals to t of x this is nothing but closedness of t this is nothing but closedness of t therefore t is a closed linear transformation t is a closed linear transformation hence hence capital t is closed implies and implied by its graph tg is also closed this completes the proof of the our theorem observe that in the next theorem in the next class we learn one very very important theorem which is known as the closed graph theorem keep learning wish you all the best